Many of our clients ask us if moissanite jewelry really passes the diamond tester. The answer is simple, it does. But it also depends on the diamond tester that you're using. The reason moissanite passes the diamond tester is because both moissanite and diamonds conduct heat very similarly. And most diamond testers rely only on thermal conductivity of the stone to determine the result. Unless you're using an advanced diamond tester, which can also detect UV fluorescence, you will not be able to tell the difference between moissanite and diamonds. These diamond testers are usually very expensive though and require careful calibration, which is why they are usually only used by expert jewelers and high-end jewelry shops. It's almost impossible to tell the difference between moissanite and diamonds just by looking at them. The only way to tell the difference between moissanite and diamonds would be to go to a local jeweler. You can use a magnifying lopes to examine the inclusions in your jewelry, as moissanite and diamonds have different patterns of internal flaws. A common misconception people make is that they think moissanite is a diamond. Moissanite is not a diamond. Moissanite is a unique gemstone that is composed of silicon carbide. Diamonds, on the other hand, are made out of pure carbon. This doesn't mean that moissanite is less rare though. Both diamonds and moissanite have their unique qualities and characteristics. Moissanite actually has the highest refractive index of out of all the gemstones in the world, even diamonds. This means that moissanite reflects a lot more light and shines more than diamonds. Even though they're almost identical in their properties, moissanite is a lot more inexpensive than diamonds. A regular 20mm moissanite Cuban link chain will usually be under $3,000, while the same chain with VVS diamonds can cost up to $100,000.